Hi everybody. Uh, day 86, 26th of January, 2022. Um, you know that I'm a person that likes to ask questions and, uh, and I've had a question on my mind for over 40 years. What I said about, what I, what I say is that if you, if you get a question about the, in, from the Bible uh, and you can't answer it, well, don't throw the Bible away. Just put the question on the shelf and keep reading your Bible and then God will give you the answer as time goes by. Uh, and I've had this question on my mind for 40 years. And, I, and I, I put it on one of the blogs recently and said to anybody, if you know the answer to this, you know, help me. Anyway, nobody came forward, but the Holy Spirit has come forward. And it's um, and 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 I actually did a talk on it on Sunday, recorded it and put it on my blog, and then I thought, oh no, I've got something wrong in that, and so I took it off. Um, just simple simple mistakes, you know, like saying the wrong name and things like that. So I didn't want to leave it on. Um, but since Sunday, now on Wednesday, since Sunday. Um, it's a good job I didn't leave it on because I, it's like it, I feel like. I've gone to this cupboard to, to answer this question. Like the God said, the answer behind the door. I've opened the door and it's like a million things have all fallen out. So that in answering this question, there's another question, another question, an answer and an answer and an answer. And I, and I'm, I wanted to put it all in, you know, I wanted the answer to in a little nutshell kind of thing. I like to make things simple for people. Anyway, I've not been able to do that. <laughs> so I just decided to... Uh, keep coming and just uh, that's in the back of my mind and so that if you want some homework uh, there's the question relates to something in the book of Ruth Ruth's a lovely story it's only about five chapters uh, and it's a really lovely story in the Old Testament so in these days just you know when we finished here go and read that okay um, but today I just want to underline this idea of this word being true and it's been true from the beginning the first person who wrote chapter one verse one was moses see so there's no greater no greater prophet than moses you know uh, elijah might compare with him and then in the new testament the apostle paul maybe john you know but there's no greater than, than you know it might be equal kind of thing but there's no greater than moses and he and so the first five books in in the old testament are written by moses and they're they're the prima donna of the Bible as far as the Jews are concerned. The New Testament is the prima donna for us as, as believers in Jesus. But nevertheless, this Old Testament is so rich in the understanding and knowledge of God. I love the Old Testament and the stories which relate to God and how he related to the people. The uh, New Testament is much more teaching. You know, Jesus' life and then much more teaching. And the Old Testament has laws of stories that are good and bad. Mm, you get it wrong. Mm. That kind of thing. Um, so, so I just want to introduce you to these words that Moses spoke at the end of his life. Moses is now 120 years old, and he's written these five books. And at the end, and the last one of these books, at the end of that last one, he's got some things to say. As just as he's leaving, and as the children of Israel tomorrow, when he's dead, <laughs> they've wandered in the wilderness and they're going across the Jordan into the Promised Land, and Moses isn't being allowed to go. Uh, but he, uh, he, he's written these words, he's this incredible prophet, he's spent his time, he's spent hours and hours and hours every day in God's presence, just receiving and learning from God. Put it, in, put it all down here for us. You know, I have this thought that this Bible is, um, came into being at the time when, when people learned how to write, write words down properly in, so that you could have good uh, intellectual conversations with the words. And they could be translated into other languages. Previous to that, it were pictures and things, and that's not really very nitty-gritty, is it? So Moses uh, uh, appears on the scene at that time, and it might even be that God, that's what he was doing in the wilderness for 40 years, learning how to read and write, you know, in this way. Um, but, but so I just want to share these words that he's saying at the end of his life, as I'm trying to do this bloggy thing uh, at the end of my life. You know, I've learned some things and I don't want them to die with me, you know? So this, you know, so, so that like Moses, I'm, I'm putting my two penneth in, okay? So I just want to read you these verses from uh, the, the two passage, two short passages from um, 
Deuteronomy, uh, the first passage is in uh, chapter 31, and it's um, starting at verse 9, Moses. I've been written it all down, see, so it starts that way. Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the priests, the sons of Levi, who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and to all the elders of Israel. And you can view the Ark of the Covenant as being like Jesus or being like the Holy Spirit. So, you know, they got him right there in their presence, you see. Uh, then Moses commanded them, at the end of every seven years, in the year of cancelling debts, during the Feast of Tabernacles, when all Israel comes to appear before the Lord, your God, at the place he will choose, you shall read this law before them in all their hearing. Assemble the people, men, women and children, and the aliens living in your towns, so that they can listen and learn to fear the Lord your God, and follow carefully all the words of his law. The children who do not know this law must hear it and learn to fear the Lord your God as long as you live in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess the promised land. Let's get it, when we get in the promised land, let's get it right. And then just over the page in chapter 32, starting to read at verse 45. When Moses, and then he, so they sang a song then, you know, between those words and these words. Uh, where's it gone? When Moses finished reciting all these words to all Israel, he said to them, Take to heart all the words I have solemnly declared to you this day. Take heed. Take to heart. Take heed. Live according to. Yeah? Take to heart all the words I have solemnly declared to you this day, so that you may command your children to obey carefully all the words of this law. Then this. They are not just idle words for you. They are your life. By them you will live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess. They are not just idle words for you. They are your life. And that's my testimony. I have taken to heart these words. And obeyed them as fully as I've understood them. Rejoiced with them. Wept with them. Been chastised by them. Been corrected by them. But been nurtured into the love of God by them. So that, that God is not so far away at any given moment. Whether there is peace or whether there is calamity. God is ever present. Bless you guys. God bless.